recently I did a painting your Pinewood Derby car video and I'm going to be doing some others uh, but I just wanted to jump in and talk about something that the guys over at Derby Guys sent me. They sent me a uh, body holder for spray painting and this is a neat little kit and uh, I'm gonna put it together here real quick and see what it's like. Got a base, got a pole piece here, this is uh, obviously a handle and then there's a couple of small parts, the wire pieces and some gizmos to hold in the wire. All right, so it looks like we need a Phillips head screwdriver, which I made sure I brought with me. And I'm gonna take these little wires, put them over here, start with that. And then take our screws. Take a quick look at the instructions, which are pretty basic, but they seem pretty straightforward as well. I could say it could be a little better illustrated, but I think it's so straightforward that you'd have to be pretty numb in the brain not to be able to figure it out. So this little blue piece fits in between the wires. Just have to spread it out a little bit, get it in there, just like that. Then that whole thing slips in there like that. And then we take one of the screws, pop it in. few quick turns just to get it locked in and that brings that little blue piece right down and locks that wire in place just like that not too tight doesn't need to be too tight nice and firm no problems there take the other one pop that one in between this piece of wire get that set up Drop that right in there like that. And find my other screw, there it is, okay. Just whip that screw right in there like so. Again, I'm being pretty gentle because this is all plastic, so it doesn't need to be super, super tight. Just a nice little snug fit. All right, this looks like it's a friction fit, goes in from the bottom. And okay, it needs to pop into place. So we're gonna give it a little shove like that. Yeah, just fits in there and you give it a little shove on, on the tabletop and presto, it's locked in, good to go. Then that handle fits on there like that. Let's move the camera just a little bit so you can get a good look at it. So there's your paint handle and a uh, little base to hold it so you don't have to hang on to it all the time. I've got a body over here that's only half finished, but we're going to take a quick look here. So we're going to grab that. And the idea is, is you put the wire in the axle holes gently like that. There slightly smaller than the drill holes so they slip right in pretty good no problems there now the re rear axle on this one is drilled at three degrees on a downward cant so I want to be pretty gentle with getting the wires in there I'm just going to kind of set them in place just by the tips and that's it but that's held pretty firmly in place it's it's not going to come off of there. So yeah, so far I'm liking this. Pop it right on the base like that. Yeah, that's great. Obviously, if I wanted to mask off these little areas, cause as I like to do for gluing on the uh, little Durlin washers, 
I like to leave it bare wood. I could obviously put a little piece of masking tape there and pierce the masking tape with a toothpick or whatever and then put the wire in and uh, I'd be good to go. All right, so I thought I would give you a uh, quick shot of what the uh, little stand looks like for the handle. See, there's the, the painting handle with the body on it, just like that. And it just pops right on this little stand, which is uh, really kind of, you know, it's simple, but it's effective. And you can, you know, turn your body around and take a look at it and see how it's going. And if you've missed any spots or... If you had like a, a little paint booth, by example, you could set this whole thing up in there and spray and turn and spray and turn and spray and turn and spray, which is probably what I would do if I had my airbrush set up. Uh, I'd just set up a little cardboard spray booth and, and an exhaust fan of some sort, and this would just be awesome. Just sit there and spin it around as I sprayed my paint. Okay. So we've got our body painted up and we've been talking about this paint stand tool from derbyguys.com. I'll put the link down below so you'll be able to find them without a problem. Now, full disclosure here, this is not a paid endorsement video. Uh, they did send me this paint handle because they had seen my painting video and they saw how I was using sticks like this and I would take tape of whatever kind I had handy and I would tape the stick up underneath the body and spray paint it that way and yes I have had bodies come close to falling off many times whether it was Pinewood Derby cars or model cars or any number of other things that I've spray painted I've been doing it that way for a long time and I've always known it was a bad way to do it but I always did it anyways getting by that uh, they sent me the tool and said try it out see if you like it so I'm gonna tell you the things that um, I think about the tool and what I learned about the tool while I was using it and I'm going to discuss that real quickly. Uh, number one, if you had a spray booth of some sort, you know, from doing model cars or whatever, you could literally sit there just like this with the handle on its stand, spray, turn the car, spray, turn the car, spray, turn the car, spray, and that's an easy way to get a paint job on there. Obviously, it's designed to actually be held in your hand and use a spray can to spray paint the body. You can turn it upside down, you can spray underneath. I've mentioned that before. And uh, those are all the basic aspects of this tool that they mention. Uh, that, you know, it works with axle holes, it works with axle slots by pressing it into the slots a little bit. And uh, again, those are all aspects that they mention in their video. Uh, I'm going to mention a few things that they don't mention in their video. One, an easy way to get the body off of here is to put your fingers through the wires like that. And obviously the paint has to be dry. And then just put your fingers around the body loosely and spread the wires and it'll pop right open and just then you can just grab the body like that underneath do the same in the front and out it comes and there you are so that's one thing uh, an important thing I discovered when I put the tool together and I did mention it uh, early on but I'll mention it again is the ends of these wires are snipped off so they have some sharp edges in places 
So if you take a fine file and a little bit of sandpaper and just the, just the end of it, you know, just around the very end where, where it has a few little sharp edges, you just need to work those around a little bit and um, it'll help round off the ends of the wires just a little bit, which will actually let them get into your axle holes a little bit more. I do not press this into the axle holes because this is very springy metal and it's already narrower than the body is so the, the spring tension alone uh, causes the, the wires to locate in the axle holes and just barely enter and hold it in place. You don't have to shove them in at all which is nice because it, makes it, it would make it hard to get them out. Also, as I mentioned in the video, the rear axle holes on this body are canted at three degrees. So these being straight, that wouldn't work. But just the tension alone is enough to hold it in place quite well. So that covers a, a few things there about the wires themselves uh, in terms of the, the little ends and your axle holes. Uh, another thing you want to do is during the course of your paint job uh, after about two or three coats of paint let the paint dry take the body off and wash the ends of your wires with acetone or paint thinner of some kind that will take the paint off because what happens is the paint builds up and then eventually the paint will stick between the body and the wire itself because you'll be creating this liquid mass that once hardened is going to be difficult to um, separate. So about every two coats of paint, I'd say, let it dry, just pop it off, wash them real quick, put it back on, go on with your painting, and you'll be good to go. No problems there, and that'll help like I say, keep it from sticking to the body at all, uh, which is probably not a big problem, but over time it could be, especially as more and more paint builds up. Um, now that I've got my paint job completed, I'll probably be washing down a lot more of the wire for the same purposes, not to have paint build up in all these areas and cause the paint to uh, create granules as it goes onto the side of the body because uh, as more paint builds up on these wires over time it's going to disrupt the flow of the paint stream a little bit and it can cause granulation. Um, I know that from experience long before this. So is this a good tool? Is it worth the money that they ask for for it. I think so. I really do. I, th I think this is a, a great little tool. If you paint a lot of Pinewood Derby cars, it's definitely a great little tool. Uh, if you paint model cars, I could see easily sitting a model car on here and, you know, just putting a little tape up underneath to keep it on, on, the, on the wires. Um, I could see putting a number of different objects on top of these wires and painting it that way. So is it a good tool? Yeah, I think it is. I, th I think it's, it's designed to be simple. Uh, I think it's designed to be inexpensive. And I think it's designed to be pretty effective. And, and I found it to be pretty effective. So I'm going to give it a thumbs up without a doubt. And um, I'm going to put in the link, as I mentioned, uh, put the link in the video and down in the comments or somewhere or description, I don't know, someplace so that you can find this tool. And um, if you do a lot of Pinewood Derby stuff, you might want to check it out. It's, 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 worth, it's worth the investment, I think. All right. So that's it. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you'll subscribe to our channel and maybe help us out a little bit with some donations or whatever. Um, certainly comments 
all that kind of stuff helps us out. Uh, and uh, let us know what you think. All right, thank you very much. Uh, this is George Weber signing off, and we'll see you in the next video.